This video is going to serve two purposes. One is I'm going to show how to enter octal programming language into a system using binary loading switches. And the second one is to do a project in 1080i HD video and see how that works out. So we'll see how that goes. When entering an individual digit in octal using the binary switches, you have to remember that three switches form the octal number. So zero would be all three switches down. One would be the first switch up, and you'll see if I hit deposit, there's one. Two would be a binary two. Three, binary three. Four, five, Six. and all three up is seven. Over on the more modern computer, it turns out, I actually have a copy of this ODT program, or as Data General Nova refers to it, Debugger 1, written out with addresses and the function code in Octal. Okay, the machine has stopped right now. And although all our uh, programming and instruction and addresses are going to be in octal, the machine itself has 16 switches in the very front of it. What I'm going to do first is go to a memory address and try to examine the contents of that address. I'm going to look at uh, the address for 7550 so looking at the switches in the front of it I know that I'm going to be 0 0 7 in binary 5 in binary 5 and 0 so when I hit examine, it'll load the address 7550. And if I look up at the data display, it'll show me in that location, in octal, is the instruction 172004. And I can just hit the next button. It'll take me to the next address, 7551, which we can see is 000742. The next address, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 60, because remember it's in octal, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, because we're counting in octal and not decimal. 7560 is the octal number 113100. 61 is the same number. 62 is not the number that I want to be in that memory location. And looking at this listing, we can see that the instruction that's supposed to be at location 7560 is actually 113100. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the address 7560. So 00756-7560. That's the address I want. And I'll enter exam. And I'll see at 7560 it is indeed 113100. If we go to the next location, 61, we see the same data statement. Well, that's not right. If I look over here at the computer printout, I see that we actually want to enter 0, 2, 0, 6, 1, 5. So now that I have that set on my switches, I'll just go ahead and hit the deposit switch. And if I look at my data display, I can see now at location 7561, it is 020615. 
I'll just hit next, which takes me to 7562. And 7562 is 1640000. I'll deposit that in the address. And there we have 1640000. When I'm done, what this will hopefully do is allow me to operate the machine from a terminal and not have to enter everything using toggle switches. So now that I have my program all entered, I'll go back to the starting address, which is seven three zero zero. And I'm going to go ahead and just examine that address. So that's my start location. 7300 and it should be that if I come over here and hit start the application starts running and I do have the run light on now on the machine and if I come over to the terminal I can see that I can interact with the terminal and hopefully enter addresses and modify contents let's try 73 Zero, zero. 